The data in the following table show the association between cigar smoking and death from cancer for 132,352 men. So here, current cigar smoker means a cigar smoker at the time of death. So you notice the original table didn't give us the totals, so I went ahead and found the totals across the bottom and down the side, and then this total at the very bottom is the total over here, and that's good that those match. That means that we totaled up everything correctly. So part A asked us if an individual is randomly selected from a study, what's the probability to die from cancer? So we have the probability of cancer. So I'm just going to shorthand this here. Um, so that's the number of cancer over the number total here. So our cancer, if I follow that down, we get 1,225 over our total, 1,3,2,3,5,2. So let's divide that in the calculator and get a decimal approximation here. So our directions don't specify what to do, so just make sure that when you're doing these problems on um, your homework that you're paying close attention there to the directions on how many places to round. Right. So part B here asks us if an individual is randomly selected from a study, what's the probability that they were a current cigar smoker? So let's figure that out. So current cigar smoker. So that's going to be the number of cigar smokers over the total. So we know our total here. So our cigar smokers that are current cigar smokers. So we're looking at current, not the formal. Um, is here 8,761 and let's look for a decimal approximation to four places it's divided by 1, 3, 2, 3, 5, 2 0.0662 there so part C we want to know if an individual is randomly selected from the study, what is the probability that he died from cancer and was the current cigar smoker? Probability of cancer and current cigar. So we're looking for where both of those things occur. So that's a good thing about these tables. So again, we want that out of the total since we're not picking out a certain amount, just um, since it's randomly selected from the study. So where they're Died from cancer and current cigar smoker. That is this 185 here. So again, let's find our decimal approximation. Point zero zero one four. So very unlikely there. And I think there's one last question here. Yep. So D, we want to know if an individual is randomly selected from a study, what's the probability to die from cancer or was a current cigar smoker? So again, with or, we want to ask ourselves, are these events mutually exclusive? Well, we know from part C that they're not. So it's possible to um, die from cancer and be a current cigar smoker. So we need to subtract that out. So cancer or we need to use CC for current cigar smoker, CCS. So we want to do probability of cancer minus and plus the probability that they're a current cigar smoker minus the probability of both. Right? So cancer, we have that from part A. So what's that? Twelve twenty-five. Have our total, and then current is eight one, and then both is one eighty-five, and all of these are out of the total. And since they're all in the same total, I can just 
figure out what the numerator is and then put that over the denominator here. So let's do that. So 12 from 25 plus 8, 7, 6, 1, minus 1, 8, 5. So 19, no, sorry, 9, 8, 0, 1 over 1, 3, 2, 3, 5, 2. And let's look at our decimal approximation there. So divided by 1, 3, 2, 3, 5, 2. So 0 0.0741. So that isn't unlikely, but there's a pretty uh, small chance there, a 7% chance.